This gold is a little less gold than the previous one I made. This is greenish gold, a natural mica PW20 coated with titanium white, iron oxide and viridian green. As I mentioned in my previous video, the mica pigments don't really need mulling. Actually, I'm against it. I'm going to show you why later in the video. So for now, I'm just going to show you and take you along the process of the pigment melting into my binder as we witness the powder becoming a beautiful watercolor paint. So for now, I'll just stop talking and I'll let you enjoy the process. As you can see, the consistency of this paint is very different from my usual paint. It is a property of mica paint. To take a closer look, you see mica under the microscope. It looks like shards of glass and with direct light on it, you see the reflection of them, but also the transparency. And this is the very reason why I don't mill my micas. Think of them as shells of glass. The more pressure is on them, the tinier they get and the less reflection. So this is the reason why I only use a pellet knife. I've already made this paint once, so for this pan it is a second layer and you see the consistency again here, very thick and syrupy. For this pan it will be the last layer, giving it a generous dollop of paint on top of it and letting them dry. But I can do without swatching. So as you see the little mica particles dancing on the slab over here and dancing on the paper. And as they settle and dry, forming a beautiful metallic looking paint on your paper. I hope you enjoyed this version of a mica paint as well. If you don't already, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a like and leave a comment down below the video let me know what you want to see next time. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next video.